Hello everyone, I'm going to teach. I love great students. I'm a great student, so I can be a great teacher, but four ways. I'm going to teach four ways of developing your own passive money. Passive money is freaking badass because it's the only income type that can actually let you detach yourself from money so you never have to work for a flipping paycheck again or be controlled and manipulated through the dependency of money to pay your bills. Because who wants to be controlled and manipulated through money or anything for that matter? So here's four ways to get that going. And by the way, I hate to say it, that's not true, I'd love to say it. There's only about one of the four that about 49 out of 50 you out of 50 of you are going to be able to take advantage of anyway. But I'm going to show you all four anyway so that you've got some really great perspective. And maybe down the road after you get the one, you can go for the others if you wish. It's totally up to you because of passive money when you start making it and you got enough of it, you can do whatever you want with your time and you're covered financially, which means you develop the freedom of the mind which preceded always all other freedoms. So let's get started. Number one, and in no particular order. I will save the best that's widely available to everybody for the last. You can buy a traditional business, you know, like a Microsoft or an Amazon or something you develop your own or buy something for millions and millions of dollars. Right off the bat, you probably don't have that kind of cash laying around. Nope, I don't have it. Okay, so that rules that out. But if you get to that point, you could do that if you wanted to, and you could hire other people to manage it for you. You could have the vision, the concepts, here's what you wanna do that you wanna communicate, but to make it passive so that you are unattached from money, so you can do what you want with your time, you would wanna have managers that would execute your vision and your ideas for you. The second way to create passive money, which is probably going to be pretty widely unavailable to 49 out of 50 of you, is you can get into royalty checks. Now, to get into royalty checks, first, you have to be uber famous. I'm talking like a Michael Jordan or a Bill Gates or a ex-president of the United States or, a, I don't know, a Cher, a Madonna, somebody who's super famous. Everybody knows your name throughout the world usually top athletes or, or top political figures or top musicians, artists, you know, people that people know and already spend money on their, you know, merchandise and things like that. Well, if you're that kind of a person, you could write a book. You can come out with some sort of an audio thing, something or another. And you could have, you could pay people to set up processes that are fully automated online so that your store for your whatever you created is up 24 seven and automatically receives orders, automatically fulfills those orders so that you can have this passive income. Only one problem, how many people out there actually know you and know you to be at least a credible enough person or whatever kind of person that they'd actually spend money on a book or an audio or something you'd put out there? What's that? How many people? Nobody? One or two? Three or four? You know, it would probably take three or four hundred thousand, let alone three or four people. I mean, if you want to replace your job income and beyond. Okay, so royalties, at least for now, because you're not famous yet, is out of the question. Let's move on to number three. Real estate. Now, this is one of the four that I've actually gotten into, and I do real estate, but it wasn't until this, well, I'll do number four last. But real estate. I was, I was springboarded into being able to do real estate and real estate, what's the problem with that? Okay, well, I mean, if you're gonna do like rental properties or whatever, you know, something, it's an investment thing. It's passive cash flow, right? Well, you gotta have the down payment for the building and it's gonna be more than where you'd be living. Like if you're gonna buy a place for you to actually live in, you will get cheaper interest rates and you'll get the option of a cheaper down payment. For an investment, you know, for passive cash, you have to put even more money down and the interest rate's gonna be a bit higher. That's just the way that it is. I didn't write the rules, okay? So let's just say $50,000 just to get your foot in the door, to get your first real estate property that's gonna produce you some passive cash. You got $50,000? Well, my wallet hasn't gotten any thicker since the last time you asked that question, Tom. I didn't think so. And not only that, but one property for $50,000 down payment, you might see $100, $200, maybe $300 at the most return on investment on a monthly basis. Is $300 a month really gonna replace your job income? Is that gonna be okay? No, you need to buy lots of properties. That 50,000 bucks would just be to get you in the door. 
you'd have to have millions of dollars worth of properties even to begin talking about replacing your job income and going beyond that so that you can have the option of leaving your job and being free and by the way you'd want to hire property managers like I do so that the income is passive I don't know my tenants I don't have a relationship with them I never get phone calls about the properties I never even have to drive over and look at any of them it's passive money because I've got property managers that best in the business and they're awesome and I love them because they make it possible for it to be passive. So since this is off the table for 49 out of 50 of you, there's one more left, one more way to create this wonderful thing called passive money and it's so wonderful because you can detach yourself from money and be covered financially no matter what you do with your time. That's freedom. Network marketing. I'm not going to pitch you my business. Brace yourself and be eager for some very tough love. The humble will be lifted up, the prideful torn down. When it comes to network marketing, and weigh that against all of the other opportunities to create some freedom for yourself, and you finally get to be your genuine self, can you imagine what that's gonna be like? I remember way back in the day when I did have a job, I had to bite my tongue. I had to do things I didn't agree with, otherwise they could take my livelihood away from me because I was controlled and manipulated through money dependency like 49 out of 50 of you are. In network marketing, you get to be yourself. How liberating and freeing is that? For 49 out of 50 of you out there, network marketing is the only realistic way that you have to create freedom for yourself and to create real security and stability for yourself and for your family. The problem that you've saddled yourself with for years that you've done to yourself that maybe you're not aware of is that yes you want to be a free human being and maybe you even know about this thing called passive money maybe conceptually you knew what it was but you just didn't know what it was called you just knew that there was a way to become financially free you just didn't know that it was called passive money but now you know because I told you so maybe you know these things now and you're still not realistic about what it would take for you to become a free human being those other three things, three things, those other three ways, you know, the traditional business, because you don't have the money for that. Who has millions of dollars? Almost nobody. Uh, real estate, real estate is like, okay, 50,000 bucks maybe just to get my foot in the door and the return on investment is gonna be a fraction of what I'm making at my job. Okay, I can't do it. Uh, royalties, okay, nobody knows my name or maybe just a few people, but there's not three or four hundred thousand or three or four million that would buy something like a book or something if I put it out. So those are gone. So if what is coming out of your mouth that you want to be a free human being has real meaning, sustenance, and you're dead serious about it, then realistically, network marketing is your only option for the bulk majority of you, like 49 out of 50, maybe even 99 out of 50 of you out there. It's the only thing left. And not that that's a bad thing. So here's the tough love part. And that is where I'm going to lose most of you, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I don't say this to be a populist, believe me. For a lot of you, your whole lives, you've been saying stuff that you don't see through and that you don't line up with how your feet are walking with what is coming out of your mouth. And this is a perfect exa example. Everyone's saying, I wish I were free. I want to be financially free. I want to have more options. I want to get ahead. I want to get out of debt and all these other things. But then you have these opportunities to do that and you're not realistic about it whatsoever. And when you're not realistic about something that you want, whether it's freedom or whatever it is, then say this with love, but if you're not realistic about what it is that you want, then you're a clown. And I have no doubt if you're a clown, you have all kinds of people in your life that don't take you seriously, that don't really listen to you much, that fight with you and maybe put you down and other things like that and don't really encourage you because they don't, why would they take you seriously? You've conditioned them and trained them to not take you seriously because you routinely in your past and maybe still in your present, you do not have any realistic expectation or realistic idea for action to take on what is coming out of your mouth that you say is really important to you, period. Now you can draw a line in the sand today I drew a line in the sand years ago and jumped over with both feet, not one foot planted on either side. So you got to draw a line in the sand and jump over with both feet. And you're still going to get a hard time from people that you've conditioned your whole life to treat you like a clown. 
But you can begin that process for new people that you meet to take you more seriously and people that have known you for a while to maybe take a second look at you after some more time has passed because maybe maybe you've tried something in the past where you stuck with it for five minutes and got out. So you might have to do something for a solid year or two or three until people who really know you well are going to take you seriously again. That's just the way that life works. So you kind of got to earn people's trust and respect and even those that give it to you by default, you burn them. You burn people that just trust you out of default. When you don't do what you say you're going to do or have realistic expectations about what you say that you want. Okay, so let me get back to this network marketing thing and why it works for everybody. The startup, uh, by the way, I'm not pitching you my thing, so don't worry about that. Insignificant amount of money to start up. When I got started in my deal, I had no job. I had no income. I didn't even have to use my own money. I got started for $240, which is insane compared to the millions of dollars it takes for the traditional business. The 50000 it takes to get 100 maybe 200 or $300 back a month return on investment in real estate. Or, well, I don't have the notoriety to do royalties. Now do I? No, of course not. So the $240 that it took me to get started in my network marketing gig is just like embarrassingly insignificant compared to the other ways to get started with passive money. So right off of the bat, that's like available to everybody and you don't even need to start with your own money. You can borrow, you could use a credit card. You can, I, I even created a list of 31 ways of raising money without having any or 31 ways of getting started with something without using any of your own money. So I got started without the money the $240, and I had no means of paying it back when I got started because I had no job and no income. And most people would say that's stupid. Most people are either dead or broke before the age of 65, dependent and needy on the government or friends and family as a main source of their income. So most people, in my opinion, are completely stupid when it comes to this area. And if I listened to them, I'd be just as needy as they are for a paycheck. And I don't want that. That's where you got to be humble. So you're lifted up. The prideful, torn down every time. I was a straight D student. Think about this. What if you have millions of dollars to get into a traditional business, right? Millions of dollars, but no skill. Kiss that millions of dollars goodbye along with the business. That's why you can't get a bank loan to start a business like that because they know that you're going to go belly up. The only way you're going to get a bank loan for a business like that is if you've already got the passive cash flow, then they'll loan you the money. No problem then. Otherwise, they ain't going to do it. So you have to have millions of dollars of your own money to get started with a traditional business and you'll have no skill and then it's all gone anyway. So poof, it's gone. That's why people that inherit money and things like that and lottery winners, that's why you know they just sort of get weeded out by life, filtered out and they go right back into the poorhouse. No skill. Skill is more valuable than money. You could lose money, but you'll still have your skill and you can just get it all back again. It's not a bad thing, especially when you know about passive money, passive income. That's where it's at. That's the magic. It's incredible. So I was a straight D student. I was in special ed classes. Even in special ed, I got D's and I had a really hard time in school. I was educably retarded. So when I got into network marketing and being a business owner, I had not a clue as to what I was doing, but I was hungry to learn. And the great thing about network marketing, in addition to the embarrassingly insignificant amount of money to get started, you can come into it with no skill whatsoever, like I did. And it's completely self-paced. You just have to show up and love learning and do it in your spare time around everything else you've got going on. In a traditional business, if you're going to do it, especially the way that most people will do a regular business or whatever, a self-employed experience, have you ever noticed that most people that have a business, they don't own a business. Their business owns them. They can't get away from it. Their lives are just ruined and ruled and dictated by their business because they're working for a paycheck even worse than you at a job, which completely goes against why people become self-employed. They want more freedom. They want more options in the exact opposite happens. They have less freedom and less options than people with a job. And at a job, you have less freedom. You have virtually no freedom and no options. It's insanity the way that most people go self-employed because they don't know anything about passive and residual income streams. And that's the whole key. You, first of all, passive money is not available at a job. Just bar none. It doesn't exist. Self-employment. 
it does exist, but most people don't go after it or they don't know about it or who knows what, but they just don't do it. So I go after it. That's where network marketing is. Leverage, leveraged income, passive money. So network marketing, it's available to you because it's an embarrassingly low, insignificant amount of money to get started. You can come in with no skill, be the expert non-expert. That's sort of how I like to brand myself, the expert non-expert. Special ed classes, straight Ds, and all those sort of things, and no job, no income. And I got started anyway, and I just did it in my spare time. You know, I was going, I was going to college. Can, I actually gave that a shot. Full time and a half when I got started, and other re, uh, full time and a half. I want to make sure you that, and other adult responsibilities. And I still was able to do this at my own rate, my own pace, self-paced learning, self-paced action. I showed up consistently and did little digestible bits every day and it was enough to build up my new passive money to where I could call off the job search. I never did find a job again. I haven't had a job since 2006, haven't needed one since 2010. That was a long time ago. And it was also, uh, as it continued to grow, it was my springboard into getting into the real estate side of things. And speaking of that, when I got into the real estate side of things, I was able to take off with that business faster than anybody that does not do network marketing first. Because those fools are trying to also live off of the little bit of income, the little bit of return investment on those large sums of money for the down payments that I told you about earlier. They've also got to try to live off of some of that too, as well as reinvest it to expand and buy more properties. Not me. I was able to take 100% and still to this day, I haven't taken out a distribution at all from the rental property business that I have. 100% goes back into itself. I bought my first five, not one, five properties in the first year and a half because I built up my network marketing business first with passive money. So that one thing, the network marketing business, able to get into an insignificant amount of money, self-paced, spare time, learning and, and showing up and just being hungry to learn and killing excuses and stripping down my ego so I could be humble and, and be lifted up by the powers that be that govern the universe. And through that, I was able to declare my own freedom, get to a point where I could completely detach myself from money and just enjoy life and also use it as a springboard to get my real estate property business going. And who knows what else I'm gonna do in the future. I love to travel. I can travel now. I love traveling. That's rich, man. Rich is to create experiences. Poor is to have to where money is gonna come from. You wanna be rich, you need passive money because being rich, the true rich, it's not having tons of cash. It's being covered financially with passive money so that you can create rich experiences. Experiences is what's rich. You don't have the freedom to create them without enough passive money. At a job and most self-employment experiences, your schedule is controlled and dictated by a dependency that you have for money. A sick, cruel, pyramid scam dependency that you have for money in that circumstance. It's completely unsecure, unstable, you don't own it, it can be taken away from you at any time, and you have to abide by a policy and procedure manual nine miles high, and if you have a boss who's really cool that lets you do what you need as long as the job gets done, well, congratulations, you have so much freedom, you get to be yourself at the leisure and permission of a gatekeeper. Congratulations! <laughs> but I digress. So, those are the four ways, man. Uh, you can watch this video again. Please share this video, pass this message along because more people deserve to be free. More people yearn to be free. You can do somebody a huge favor just by passing this along. And the purpose of this video is to plant some seeds in your head. It's not to pitch you my business. However, if you would like to learn about my business, you're more than welcome to contact me on your own accord. And I've got, uh, you know, a private message on Facebook would be best. And I'll show you what I've got. And either you like it or you don't like it. And my website is TomBirkenmeyer.com. Take out the space, all lowercase. As, as you see it spelled on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. That's my website. Thousands of blog entries, many of them, mostly videos and some typed out things too. But I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. If you dug this video and you actually stuck around to the end because most people will have clicked off within the first five minutes 
And the most, the majority of people that would have been left after the first five minutes would have clicked off when I got to the tough love part because they're driven by an ego and pride more so than humility. <laughs> Ask me how I know what that's like. When I gave up my pride and my my ego and this and that and traded it out for humility and an eagerness to be corrected and recorrected, that's when I was able to learn things that really mattered that actually made a difference. And things like sometimes you just have to forget what you think you know and instead look at your results. What are your circumstances right now? Are you controlled and manipulated through money dependency or you can't pay your bills? Is that your circumstance? Then forget what you know. Tear down your stupid ego because it's killing you and it's ripping your family off every freaking day that you go to work for that stupid paycheck. Now, if you can hear that and not be offended, then I would love to hear from you. <laughs> I became a great student of great ideas from great people that said much more harsh things than that. And they did it from a place of love. And when I became a student to that, I could become a great teacher. And I could help people that would be great students in turn. Do you see how that works? It's a beautiful thing. So I'll hear from some of you very soon. And for those of you that I don't hear from, I hope you go out there and you discover this wonderful thing of passive money and you do something that adds a tremendous value to everybody around you and everybody that you're going to meet in the future and you build your money that way. There's people that make their money by managing people's sickness and poverty, maybe yours. And there's other people like me who have the guts to be ourselves, genuinely ourselves, and make piles and piles of passive money by perpetuating health and wealth and holistic healing and happiness and great positive ideas and things like that. So you can decide which side of that fence you wanna be on. Let it be the good side that perpetuates health, healing, happiness, wealth, railing against people that make their money by managing sickness and poverty. And let the income type that you create be a passive one because that is your only escape from being controlled and manipulated through money dependency is passive income. And let there be in your brain a realistic expectation of what it's gonna to take to get it. Otherwise, to go back to the tough love part, you're a clown and everybody around you knows it because we pay attention more to your actions than your words. That old saying, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, they do, especially when there's a massive incongruence between your actions and your words. I want to be free. I want passive income. I want to be free. Oh, but I don't want the, I can't afford the first three things I went over in this video. And the, the last one, the one that is available to me, oh, it's just not my thing. Well, now you're a clown and you probably treat everything else in your life the same way. Forget the passive income thing and being an entrepreneur. Just whatever in your life that's ever been important to you, if that's the algorithm that goes in your brain, that transcends your thought process, that algorithm transcends to every decision that you make in your life. And that's why people treat you like a clown because you are one, but draw a freaking line in the sand, jump over with both feet, and be the, the great person that you were designed for instead of ripping everybody around you off by being this lie that you are not. I think that concludes this video. With love. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I'll hear from you very soon. Bye for now.